the subcostal view can give you the best possible alignment through the aortic valve and in patients with aortic valve pathology it's a really important view to get. As I've also shown in one of my previous videos you can usually get a trace even when you can't see much of an image at all. In this video I'm going to show you how you can manipulate your probe position to really optimise your angle for this particular view. To get your subcostal view, put it into the abdomen here and you have to press a little bit, a little bit of pressure and you're going to get the heart here. So what you want really is to get the outflow tracks. If you are pointed too deep into the animal, you'll just be catching the top of the ventricles and then you get all the liver. And if you have too shallow an angle, you're going to get like a double short axis, so both ventricles in a kind of a short axis. But what you want is that happy medium where you're just opening up the left ventricular outflow tract, the aorta, on your screen and then you can just by Moving your hand position, you can swing that on your screen so that you get it as central as possible. And this is why this view is so perfect for Doppler alignment, because I can swing this around and make sure it's completely dead center in my image. So that aorta is beautifully lined up with where my Doppler beam is going to be. I won't need to angle it at all. So I can just turn on my continuous wave Doppler and it's just straight down. You can't get any better alignment than that. And the better your alignment, of course, the more accurate your velocity measurements are actually going to be. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's helpful. Thank you all so much for the kind compliments about Doppler. I've been traveling around quite a lot the last few weeks and I didn't realize what a superstar she is. Uh, I'm sure nobody really knows who I am, but everybody knows who she is. She's never sedated, she isn't AI generated, she's completely real, but she's just a very good girl when it comes to scanning. If you like this video, please do hit like, please subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to get further into echocardiography, we have a program that you can join with lifelong support. So I hope you'll check that out in the description below.